What exactly is the Jewish problem? You think that after 4,000 years of recorded history, we'd have figured out this strange, almost universal hatred of the Jews, but we haven't. And that little problem isn't so little anymore, is it? That innate, deadly hostility is exploding around the globe. And if we don't figure it out, it'll trigger a violent self-defense reaction, which is going to destabilize the entire planet, harming everyone in the process. Let's figure it out. Let's take the emotion out of it. Look at things scientifically, empirically. There are facts. So let's consider them. What exactly is the Jewish problem? Is it genocide, their rights to self-defense, envy, bigotry, tribalism? No. The problem is that no one, and I mean no one, including the Jews, know what Jews are and what their role is in the world, or that they even have one. Every definition is a contradiction. You have an undefined, identity-conflicted human grouping, making up less than 0.02% of the world's population, which somehow manages to draw to itself a disproportionate amount of attention and influence, enough to impact the entire human network and all of its systems, for better and for worse. And we don't really know who they are. What are Jews? And why do we feel about them the way we do? What are Jews to us? Can you forget about religion, cultural attachment, social preferences, just for a moment? Jews are a kind of nation of hubs in their human network, structured so that any major or minor impulse of system development that enters the system has to first go through the hubs, through the Jew function. For that to happen, Jews have to connect in a way that resembles the higher quality of the system where those impulses originate. Sort of quantum love your neighbor as yourself program. A natural inborn grasp of what next steps to take in order to ensure the survival of the system. Chaos and planet-wide problems, a built-in alarm goes off. Every node feels there's something wrong and demands what's missing. Development and well-being are being choked off and the whole system's in danger. Alarm signals pinging the hubs like, you know, go to work, do something, we're suffering here. The fear that we feel for our survival is simply happening because of our inability to keep up with the accelerating global interdependence that we're already into. So how do we fix that? That was the Eureka moment, because now they had a clean and complete data set of a small system, and they could actually see the mechanisms, the forces that make that system collapse or survive, the structure of survival itself. Talking about that makes us squeamish. But look, if we're going to figure it out, we have to stop saying it's not true. It is true, but why? How come? What for?